Alright, so it has officially been one year since I started this channel and I started making games. Yep, a whole last year you've had to put up with me now. So I thought, since this is the anniversary of the channel, we should go back through the year and, you know, look at everything I've made so far. I'm also going to go through and I'm going to rate each game from 1 to 10. And then I'm also going to rate the devlog video itself out of 10 as well. And bearing in mind that these ratings are, you know, in comparison to each other, all right? They're not like an actual IMDB rating, all right? Because if that was the case, they're all getting a straight 0 out of 10. If I'm going to be honest with you, the ratings are basically just random numbers I made up, all right? So don't take them seriously. Anyway, let's start with the very first video on my channel. I made a little 2D platformer in Godot where you play as a cat. Simple as it gets, really. I basically just made this so that I could learn how to make games at all because at this point in time the only other experience I had with game dev was this little thing I made for a game jam and I also had a software development apprenticeship for about five months but then I got fired for being shit. So basically I had worse than no experience, I was actively bad at programming. Also did I mention that I made this in only two days? So yeah, made in a very short time with very little experience, obviously it's not a masterpiece. But I don't think it's completely awful, I think it definitely could have been worse. I'd rate this game a 2 out of 10, I mean it's not fully completed so I can't really give it higher than that. But it's not a 1 because I think it could be worse, especially for a first attempt. And the video itself, I'll give that a 3 maybe. I mean, it wasn't very funny or really that entertaining, and I was kind of trying to act like I knew what I was doing, when really I had no idea. Fun fact, I actually recorded my voice in this video using a tablet camera, and then I just took the audio from that recording. And then I also put a blanket over my head to get rid of the echo. It is literally the most low-budget B-Tech setup you can possibly get. I, I don't think it can actually get worse than this. But still, somehow even with this setup, it is my second most viewed video on the channel. Somehow. Thank god I eventually got a real mic and I don't do that no more. Apart from the blanket thing, because that actually works, alright? That is a genius idea on my part, and I still do that even today. Alright, the next game is this one. It's called Street Cat. This was the very first game that I actually completed and fully released, so already better than the last one. Once again, it's a game where you play as a cat and the objective is to basically just survive on the streets. It's heavily inspired by 60 seconds and when I say that, I mean I basically just robbed the entire gameplay loop from that game. I think this game is okay considering, you know, it's my first attempt at making an actual fully complete game. I mean, at the very least, it is finished, so I've got to give myself some credit for that. I'd give it a, a 4. I give the video a 3 as well, same as the last one because it has the same problems the last video had. Now this next one was kind of rushed, so I'll be honest with you up front, it's not that good. Basically you play as a cleaning robot and you have to clean a space station, but then you also have to like dodge around all the aliens trying to kill you. So it was at this point in time that I wanted to make 3D games, but my computer at the time sucked and it could only do 2D games. And I hadn't got my new computer yet, I was still waiting for it. But I still wanted to do, you know, something while I was waiting. And I made this to just fill in the gap, essentially. I'd give it a... a, a 2.5. Video itself, probably a little better. Still not great, though. About a 3.5 out of 10. Now, this next one... This one... It's something, alright? So this was when I started making 3D games and it turns out it was way harder than I expected to make 3D models and use Unity and stuff. So a new game engine and a whole new dimension, yeah it was a disaster. The game itself, absolutely shocking alright, 0 out of 10, I, I don't even need to explain why, just, just, just look at it. The video though, actually wasn't too bad. I actually had a proper microphone to record and I wasn't using my tablet mic anymore. So, you know, that's at least something. 
It was also a lot funnier and more entertaining than all the other ones, I reckon. Because this is the video where I stopped trying to make, you know, more professional videos. Well, not professional, but, you know, acting like I knew what I was doing, you know what I mean? But yeah, I dropped the act and I just made my videos how I felt like making them. With a lot more jokes and a lot less boring ass coding. I don't know why I ever thought it was a good idea to talk about code in my videos. It's literally the most boring shite on planet earth man. Oh, and also, this was the first time I used the Jaguar in a video and I switched up my branding because before this it was literally just the number 2. Like like this, this is it, this was the profile picture. Not very recognisable branding is it? And it was fucking grey. Grey. Literally the most boring, dull colour you can possibly get. No idea what I was thinking with that one, alright? Shocking on my part. I'm glad I changed it. Anyway, although the game was complete cack, the video itself is our highest yet, with a 4 out of 10. Now, this next video wasn't actually a game, it was just like a funny little video I made. It's like a parody type thing, I don't really know what to call it to be honest. It's basically about me trying to learn Blender, but the entire thing is, is scripted, like none of it's real advice or showing my progress or some, something like that. It's just for jokes. But, I think it was pretty good, I think it was another 4 out of 10. Really, it wasn't that bad. The next one was Stray for the Game Boy. I made this one because I had no idea what I was doing with Unity and it was way harder than I expected, as I said earlier. So I was like, okay, jumping into 3D straight away, yeah that was a bad idea. And I thought, alright, you know what, I'll make a 2D game first, because that's what I was, you know, familiar with at the time. And then I'll graduate to 3D later, once I've learned a bit more about Unity first. So that's why I made it, and I think the game turned out, you know, it was alright. Uh, the most important thing though was that I got to grips with Unity and understood it a little bit better. So it doesn't really matter how good the game is really. I'd give it a 3 out of 10, and another 4 out of 10 for the video. Right, now this one, this was where I actually started to get kind of good. Alright, Silk Song in 3D. The game was actually not that bad. I think the 3D models look quite good considering how little experience I had. The game I'd give a 5 out of 10. The video though, uh, that's a different story. Like 90% of the video is just me complaining about how I can't get this stupid cloak thing to work. Because honestly, I could not figure it out for the life of me. Also, the fact that I made the environment last. So the game looks very grey and dull and boring. Until right at the very end. Obviously, in hindsight, that doesn't really make for the best video. But hey, what's done is done. Also, I forgot to show some gameplay at the end like I'd normally do. So the video just kind of abruptly ends. The next one was the Undertale Sands fight in 3D. And I'd say this game, probably about the same as the last one, 5 out of 10. As for the video though, I thought it was pretty damn good. And it is my most popular video, so I must have done something right with it. Uh, 6 out of 10. Tell you what though, one thing I did do wrong with this video, is in the middle of it I accidentally misspoke, and I said Chara instead of Frisk. We're going to start with the main character, Chara. And yeah, I managed to start a flame war in the comments. It was kind of funny in the end though, because I decided to play along with it a little bit. You know, as if I actually believed that I got it right. And my god, the amount of replies I got. So many people were telling me off in the comments, just for this small little detail. I did a similar thing with uh, the Silk Song video. I called Hornet Void, like as a joke halfway through the video, but it didn't really have the same effect, no one really cared about that one. Except the Silk Song thing was actually on purpose, and this one I, I just messed up while I was recording. Anyway, moving on. Right after that I made another Undertale remake, and this time with the Undyne fight. I think this one was a bit better, and I did actually release this one too, because it's not like an exact one-to-one -one remake of the original game. So I'm pretty sure I can't get sued. And also, I think, you know, from a gameplay perspective, not necessarily graphics or anything like that, but purely from a gameplay perspective, I reckon this is the best game I've made so far. I mean, it's actually 
quite fun to play and, you know, dash and dodge around in first person. So, a 7 out of 10 for this one. And the video, video's pretty wicked too, I'll give that a 6 out of 10. Now, this next one is also not actually a game, like that Blender video I spoke about a minute ago. Because I, I just wanted to try something a little different, you know what I mean? Switch things up, because I'd already made a bunch of devlogs. So this one was just a bit of an experiment, really. An experiment that didn't go very well, mind you, but hey, whatever. I thought it was a good video. Obviously, no one else did. It's like a parody video, you know, not actually making a game with AI. It kind of starts off seeming like a normal video, you know, making a game with AI. But then the AI becomes sentient, you know, turns evil. Because that's what they do, that's what AI does, man. I've watched enough sci-fi films, alright? I've seen it happen. This video is actually a warning for the future, alright? Robots are evil, I'm telling ya. So when a sex robot cuts your dick off, don't say I didn't warn ya. Anyway, I'd probably give this video 5 out of 10. The next one and the most recent game I've made was remaking Five Nights at Freddy's 4 with ray tracing. And I think this one actually looks... <laughs> it actually looks pretty good. Honestly, I surprised myself with this one. And I learned a load of new stuff as well with this one, like normal maps, textures, stuff like that. Mostly stuff centered around 3D modeling, since that was sort of the goal going into it. I really wanted to, you know, learn how to use Blender a bit better and make my game look proper sick. Although it isn't actually finished. I wanted originally to, you know, remaster all the mini games and have Fredbear and all that stuff. You know, I wanted to do the whole shebang, right? But then that whole Unity bullshit happened and that just killed all motivation I had to keep using Unity. And I wanted to switch game engines. But by this point, I was already halfway through making it and I didn't want to start over or I didn't want to completely scrap it. So I just decided to, you know, take what I had and salvage your video out of it anyway. Don't get me wrong, I still think it turned out good though. I'd give this one a solid 7 out of 10. But the game gets a 5 because it's not finished. And this next one was also not a game. It was more of a parody type of deal. Again, you know, like the Blender and the AI video. It was sort of like a bonus video since now I had a lot more time because I wasn't continuing with the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 video. But I still felt like, you know, I wanted to make something at least a little bit related to FNAF. And again, just like the AI one, it was just an experiment and, you know, didn't get as many views as the typical videos. But honestly, I sort of expected that. These styles of video haven't really done very well, so I reckon I might just scrap them from now on. I still like it though, and I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10 in my opinion. Also, by the way, just a little side note about this one. I did see that this guy here, he made a very similar video to mine. And I just wanted to say, I did not copy him. We just both came up with very similar video ideas. I did 100% steal the thumbnail though. And that was the last video I uploaded to my channel. But hang on, hang about. Not done yet. Alright, I've still got more stuff I want to talk about. I'm planning on making some more original games rather than remakes because I actually want to, you know, release my games. And I also want to make a longer project that, you know, takes me a couple months at least rather than the small little games that I've been making so far. Because originally I planned to make these smaller games for another year, you know, keep practicing before committing to a bigger project. But I've realised, I think I've learned pretty much all that I can possibly learn from making these smaller projects. And I feel like I'm not getting better anymore. So I reckon I'm just going to do it, I'm just going to commit to a larger project, see what happens. So yeah, that's the plan. So stay tuned for that. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss it. And uh, yeah, that's about all I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed. Watch my other videos. See ya.